This mound is the fortress for Macrotermes termites, a colony a million strong. A termite's mound is just the hub of an underground city, six kilometers of foraging tunnels. Termites now face the flooding of their colony. They beat a hasty retreat to the safety of their mound as their tunnels start to flood and collapse. But in doing so, something miraculous happens. The tunnels seal themselves up. This blocks the flood's underground advance and forces the water back to the surface. Back inside the mound, the termites are safe. Incredibly, the flood provides just the opportunity they need. Their fragile castle, made of sand, requires constant maintenance and rebuilding. But the soil, now softened by flood water, is easy to transport to damaged parts of the mound. Gradually, thousands of termites reconstruct their fortress. Repairing these mounds isn't just good for the termites. These structures help to create something vital for all the delta's wildlife. It's islands. And it all starts like this. Dung, ready-made fertilizer laden with fruits and seeds. Flood water soaks up the dry side slopes of the mound to create the perfect bedding for new plants. Gradually, season by season, termite mounds become home to more and more plants. As they grow, they attract more animals, which in turn bring with them the seeds to grow even more plants. Sycamore fig, fan palm, marula, until the termite mounds are barely recognizable under their lush green canopies. As it floods, Raised areas around termite mounds become islands. They provide food, shelter, and a refuge throughout the year for everything from elephants to baboons and birds. In the delta, once featureless desert, there are now around 150,000 such islands. <laughs> 